Hello guys and welcome welcome back to the channel. This time we're playing Dark Souls, the board game, with some painted minis, as you can see, and you might have seen in one of the pre previous videos where, when I was showcasing the um, entire collection so far that has been painted. So, what I'm about to do today, right now, in this episode, is to show you a fight against one of the invaders. I have just recently started a playthrough with, it, with the Pyromancer and Herald, and this is actually our very second encounter, so, so still level one. This is the Ashen Hollow encounter, which is trapped, and we already defeated both the uh, crossbow, crossbows and... what are their names again? Hollow Soldier, of course, and Hollow uh, Crossbowman. We managed to defeat them. We have one barrel over there. And as a result of us uh, going through the very first encounter, which was... Uh, what was it called again? It was the deeps, okay? The deeps. We found an ember. And for all of you who have the <clears throat> uh, explorers in encounters, is it? Or invaders? What's it called again? Uh, Phantoms. <laughs> Phantoms, there you go. Phantoms expansion, right? Um, you can incorporate both the summons and uh, invaders. So. That's what we did. As soon as we found an ember, we put the uh, invader tokens into play. And we already found this guy, and his name is Maldrum the Assassin. Okay? We're actually um, mid midway in the fight, into the fight. Um, so I decided to, to record uh, this bit, um, saving you some time uh, watching me you know, fighting the hollows, the basic, the basic um, enemies uh, you find early in the game. We have our py pyromancer, as as I mentioned, and we also have the um, herald. Of course, we haven't had a chance to upgrade too many things apart from grabbing the great magic weapon for the pyromancer. Apart from that, he's equipped with. Currently, he's equipped with his Pyromancy Flame. Okay, and Harold is carrying his spear and also an aggro token right there. Okay, we went through uh, two activations already for Maldron. Let me show you his card. He, We need to pick three cards out of five available. We did that. He heats up on five and then he drinks his Estes Flask that uh, heals him back to eight and uh, allows him to move away three from the aggro from the hero with aggro token so he has one physical one magical defense and um aggro of 10 yeah so there we are we'll put him put his card over there he's already down to six we managed to deal two wounds to him so only one away from heating up it's his turn to activate his very third activation i'll show you what we already found this is this is legal this it came in this order so first he uh great lance lunged so move one towards the closest enemy push with four damage and then retreat one with the dodge value of three range zero okay the corrosive urn toss was the second action infinite range to dodge so he uh throws the urn with poison at the uh, aggro, dealing three magical damage, and then he retreats two away from the aggro. So that's what we did. That's that's the layout of the map. Is there anything else I should mention? As I said, uh, this is the very second encounter. Oh, and by the way, yes, something very interesting. I'm playing my Dark Souls heavily modified, including the extended rule set, and among many things that it does, it does something very interesting to me, which is encounter events. So as you can see, it gives a lot of uh, flavor, a lot of fluff for every individual encounter that you find in the corset and expansions so far. I'm not sure whether these been updated with the latest course, corsets, I don't know. But what it does, it gives a lot of flavor. It gives uh, flavor to your encounters, but also additional rules. So for example, uh, when you fight at Ashen Hollow, if a player kills two enemies on the same activation, gain two souls. I failed to do that. 
And also, if a player destroys a barrel, their attacks are magic for that activation. But obviously, I don't want to destroy the barrel right now because I want to take advantage of the new rules for barrels and then roll black die and see if I collect any souls out of that. The reward for killing this um, invader, uh, for killing Maldron, is his armor, Royal Swordsman armor which is, well, for both the Pyromancer and the Hero, yeah, tier 2, in terms of strength, the Faith is uh, easier to achieve, and also the Intelligence. Intelligence, oh, that puts Herald out of, out of scope, because both strength and Intelligence for Herald would be tier 2, so a lot of investment. <clears throat> But if I level up twice for the Pyromancer, he can equip that. It's quite good, actually. Two physical, one magical, uh, one upgrade, and it also lowers your stamina cost for your <clears throat> most expensive, most expensive uh, stamina attack, of course. Um, just a quick overview of the boards. The Pyromancer has three stamina points on his board and four wounds. Harold has four stamina points and one wound as a result of us going through the encounter. Okay, and I think we're ready to begin. Are we? I think so. Okay, let's have a look what he has in store for us. A leaping Lance Strike. Oh. So he leaps uh, to Harold. We'll, we'll push him out of this spot and deal five physical damage, okay? Uh, dodge value of two. Oh, and by the way, I'm playing with new, well, mix of new, both new and old uh, rules. So, you know, I can move, I can do different things on the same activation. And by the way, when I move during the other hero's turn, uh, instead of having this move three of uh, any charge, if you like, I, I, you know, upgraded that to uh, spend one stamina if I want to move during Herald's activation in just a moment. But anyways, he leaps, right? And he will push, he can push me the hero there or on the barrel. So I want to be pushed right there. I don't want to fall into a trap. I don't know what it is. Okay, and he will deal five physical damage to me as a result of that push. I have one, two, two black dice for physical defense. And what's my <clears throat> what's my dodge value for Herald is just one, so there's no point in me rolling the <clears throat> dodge die. So um, I defend two out of that five, so I receive three damage. Ooh, okay, I receive three damage as a as a result of that. Ooh. Pretty, pretty close to using my Estes <laughs> myself. And then he will retreat two away from, so he will go one, two, okay, two away. So we now have three cards, three activation cards. So Great Lance Lunge, Corrosive Urn Toss, and Leaping Lance Strike, which is unfortunate. So he will move one towards the closest hero and attack at range of zero, which is great. So let me flip it over. <clears throat> now, anything we can do. Is there anything we can do, mate? Um, it's, it's Harold's turn right now to do something, to do something about that. So he will heal three stamina points. As I said, I'm playing with uh, new, new rules. Oh, and by the way, Harold was the one who had the Estus, so he receives one less damage. Uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> my spear is range of one, so I would have to get really close to him to deal some damage. So maybe, maybe I can, maybe I can equip one, two, maybe I can equip the talisman. Yeah, I will unequip my <clears throat> shield and I will equip the talisman for... Uh, is it really worth it? Because I'm going to... Yeah, I will. Why not? And within two range, everybody gains one stamina. So I'm going to do that for zero. 
so he's uh, healed completely out of his um, stamina points. <clears throat> okay, and then within two, so my Pyromancer also heals one. Also heals one, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. Right. But I can take the advantage of uh, new rules and move one away. Of course, I'm running away this uh, towards this direction. And I still have a three move for my... for my... Herald. So I suppose I'll go there. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So that's that. Let's let's continue. Let's move on. So now he activates with his great line, great lance lunge. That's a mouthful. So he moves one towards the closest hero. One, two, one, two, three. So this is the closest. So he moves one. Range zero. Dodge of three. So nothing happens. He would have pushed me for f dealing four damage, but he doesn't do anything. So, I can, now he needs to, he wants to retreat. So he can either go back here or there. I can choose. Both are equal distance. One, two, one, two. So I want him to be there, closer to my uh, Herald, of course. Yeah. So, Agro Token goes there. <coughs> Heals three stamina. So he has four wounds and no stamina on him. So, and he has his pyromancy <coughs> equipped. So maybe we could spend four. Oof, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. And try and deal some damage. Mm -hmm. Try and deal some damage. Damage. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, I suppose let's let's just try and kill that guy. So the pyromancer is using his pyromancy flame with the range of two, one, two, enough to do that. We deal magical damage. He's got one and one, so it doesn't really matter. Two dice. We have anything else well it's it's just our you know starting equipment that we haven't had a chance to upgrade yet so no buffs hey once per spark when the pyromancer makes a magic attack against one i could use his explosive firepower his hero ability but i think it's too early because he's going to heal up anyway when he so maybe not yet as i said he's down to six from his eight so yeah let's have a look at what what happens Right, we attack for three, nice. He blocks one, so two damage goes through. So he's down to four, okay. Right, but when he heats up, do I add any cards? Do I add the additional cards as I would do with... Let me just quickly double check that, guys. Because it's been a while since I played against phantoms. Uh, invader tokens. Yeah, I need to add the remaining two cards. So shuffle them. So now I lost his uh, behavior sequence. Yeah, so things might get, might, get, might get dicey. Okay, so he's back to eight. Back to eight. Now he's pissed off, isn't he? Eh? Um, do I want to move with my Herald? I suppose I do. So one stamina. Ooh, but is he going to, what is he going to do? Two, 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 two. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what he's going to do because I'm thinking about, well, move one for three. Okay, let's put that away. Shall I? Hmm, no. Let me stay there. So I'm not spending any stamina points for Herald. I'm just staying where I am. 
So he's up to eight, done that, done that. So it's his turn now. Ooh, it's his new activation. Let's have a look what he does. And he, ooh, we've seen that one before. Corrosive urn toss. So he throws his urn at the aggro, dealing three magical damage, applying poison if he hits, and then retreating two away from, oh, come on. He's running away from us. Right, so he throws that at me. Uh, what's my magical defense is for the pyromans? It's two plus. Oh, it's just two. Oh, it's just two black, two black dice. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. And we rolled two. Mm. So it's one damage and poison and poison, and he moves one away. Okay. Ooh. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, we will suffer one more damage when he... How am I supposed to reach you, mate? One, two, three. So... Hmm. I have to spend a lot of stamina points to actually reach you and deal some damage. So, the aggro goes to Herald. Before we move or do anything, I will <clears throat> equip my kite and unequip my talisman. So, what I want to do... Hmm, shall I risk any of these uh, traps? Ooh, that's, that's dangerous, because that can... Otherwise, I can go one for three, two for two stamina, and then attack him for... Just one black die. That's not a lot that I can do. It's going to be quite problematic, but I want to go there and tank his... Um, well, I don't know. Shall I do it? Shall I risk it? For three damage. Ooh, that's problematic. Don't like that at all. Mm-hmm. Shall I risk it and try one of these traps? Because what, what what what's going to happen if I risk it and and I can't what's my dodge? Because that's the only way to Yeah, so it's one dodge. If it's if, if the trap is more difficult then I might be in trouble. Shall we risk it? Maybe not just yet. So I will move one, two, three for two stamina points. Okay, and then I will attack with my spear, which is crap at dealing damage. <laughs> I could spend three and then drink my Estus. Yeah, okay, let's do it. I'm spending three. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm spending three stamina points to uh, use this slightly stronger attack plus one, so... Yeah, if it's if it's not a blank, I will deal some damage at least, and then I'll drink my Estes probably because I'm down to three empty spots. So I'm rolling one black die against his uh, one physical defense, and it is one, so just one damage. Hmm, was it worth it? Well, there's nothing else I can do really. Um, are we going to risk it? Are we going to risk uh, his attack? Let me see what the options are. What the options are. If I recall from his three cards, there was only one, and we also we already used his magic attack. So the other thing will be um, will be physical attacks, and I have two black dice to defend against physical uh, may use when he does each character gains two stamina so i'm going to use my i don't want to die but i want to risk it so i'm going to use my talisman flip it over to use perseverance and recover two stamina points the pyromancer does not recover anything because he's uh, he's fully healed so that's that <coughs> So at least that gives me some more 
room to uh, to do something. Now, do we want to move with Pyromancer? One, two, one. I th think I will move here. Yeah, I would have uh, spent one stamina point and Perseverance would have healed it. Why did I move here? Because my flame uh, has range of two. So if he does something to push me away and then retreat two, one, two, then he will be here. I will be closer. Will it make any difference though? No, you know what? Let's stay there. Never mind. Sorry for that. So let's see what he does. His activation is Great Lance Lunch. Oh, we've seen that one before. So he moves one towards the closest hero, push away for four damage. So he will push me like this for four damage, then he will retreat. Okay, so four damage, physical damage. As I said, I have two black. So look, whoa, that one. Oh, two. Two versus two. So, but I still have my ember on me. And my ember. Um, no, it doesn't help me here because it's only two damage. It would, if, if it had been three, it would have been reduced by one as a result of me having that ember on me. So now he's going to move one away from the closest hero, from him. So either here or there, both are equal distance. I will move him here so he's within range of the Pyromancer. Right, so we know the second one and we've already seen that. So there's three more to go and seven HP left. Now, matey, back to you. You will get one, one damage as a result of that poison on you. <sighs> do, 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 do. Pyromancer, shall I use the explosive firepower on him? Makes a magic attack and gains one. Do, 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 do. Or we just spend four on the flame. Yeah, let's do it. So what I'm doing, I'm spending, I'm using the fire uh, pyromancy flame. I'm using my talisman to use explosive firepower and that will give me one extra black die whenever I <clears throat> make a magic attack. And I will spend four stamina points. I don't have any at the moment. One, two, three, and four. And that leaves me with two spots on my bar. And I think I will drink the Estus because I will get one, one damage from that poison at the end of my activation, which uh, I don't want. So <clears throat> three black dice against his one defense. He has seven HP left. Come on. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Shall I use my thing? My token. Luck token. Is it luck token? Yeah, luck token. To re-roll. <clears throat> or shall I keep it for... Yeah, let's... Uh... Of course, we're re-rolling that. Come on. Yes! Yes! So four, three damage goes through because he blocks one. So he's down to four again. Yeah, good. Uh, so let's clear that. We receive one damage for this poison. Okay, our bar is full. So I'm drinking my Estus to heal completely. Yeah, and then I still have my... <coughs> One three move. Do I want to move with with you, buddy? No, I don't suppose I do. No, I don't think I do. All I need is just um. <clears throat> all I need is just five. Uh, five. Not five. Four damage. That's all I need. That is all I need. <laughs> one, two, that's equal distance anyway. So one, two, one, two, it doesn't really matter. I don't want to spend any stamina points. So that's it, okay. That was um, the Pyromancer, fantastic stuff. <clears throat> so it's back to Maldron, let's have a look. Maldron, double lance lunge. Ooh, we haven't seen that one before. So he moves one towards the closest hero. 
he will do it twice. One, range of one, so he can reach me. He would have reached me anyway, so he would have gone through the traps. Yeah, so he does that. He attacks for four with a push. He will do it twice. <gasps> There's potential for eight damage. Bloody hell. Okay, so he will push. That's physical damage. Uh, what's the... Oh, I have my... Three. That's only one damage that goes through. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Good, good. He will do it again, though. So he goes there and does it again. I will push Harold over there. All right, let's have a look. Oh, sorry for the bump. That's two damage that I should get. Um, and I can get two damage before I die. Well, three damage before I die. That's what I meant. But I think I will take my chances. Shall I take my chances? Because that's exactly... That's exactly... No, then... No. So... My bar is full, so one more either stamina damage or any other damage uh, or, or health damage or wounds and I, I, and I die. But that's exactly what I need because I will use my Estus. <clears throat> yeah, brilliant. So, uh, is, it, is there anything else? Does he retreat? No, he stays there. I pushed him twice. Attacked for eight. I blocked. I think I did it right. Yeah. So now it's Harold's turn. He will heal three stamina points. So he has three empty spots for stamina points and one, the extra one that comes from Neurosa. He has his Estus, he has his Ember, and he has his Luck token on him. Four damage, mate. Four damage. Can you do that? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. You cannot do that, mate. You cannot. Um, there's one. One, two, one, two. Yeah, I suppose that's that's all I can do. I need to get close. Yeah, three for free. I will move you for one, just like that. And I will attack with... <clears throat> uh, my spear, the three stamina. Uh, points, you yeah. know, three stamina points. So I'm attack. I'm attacking for. I can all I can. The maximum I can do is is two damage here. No, it's just one. So down to three, like that. All right. Yeah. So that goes back to my bar. So my bar is full, and I have the aggro token, and there is a high chance of him attacking me which will be bad. So I'm drinking my Estes. Yeah, why not? We'll spend everything we have, but you know, these characters are quite weak uh, to start with, but it's quite exciting to see that in action. So he moved, he moved, he attacked. Do, 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 do. The only thing we have left for Herald, if the next activation card uh, for forces Maldron to attack the aggro token. So let's have a sip of coffee. Ah. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Both our characters are healed. All we have to do is deal three damage. It's, ooh, Jousting Charge. Have we seen that one before? I don't think so. So what happens? Range of one, dodge value of three, no chance. Move two towards the aggro and push, so he will go one, um, push, I suppose, go again and push into a corner, yeah, maybe, let's see, yeah, and then attack for five. Oh, yeah, we can even, you know, take all five. Yeah, so we have two black against his five and an ember. It's three actually, so two damage goes through. That's 
that's all that we can do about that. <clears throat> now the aggro token goes to... And does he retreat? No, he does not. So, the aggro token goes to the pyromancer who heals one stamina point that he had on, on the thing. And shall I now... Shall I now equip... Go for it, risk it. And unequip the pyromancy flame. Unequip... Whew, unequip the... What's it called? Cad Caduceus round shield that gives me one against physical. Ooh, that's risky. But what is it that I can that I wanted to do? I wanted to go for five stamina points because then I can spend two and gain plus one damage and make it uh, uh, magical, of course. And then for three stamina, so five in total, I roll two black dice plus one to damage, and he has three HP remaining. So, you know, shall we risk that? Hmm. I think his maximum that he could do was five damage. So if I had two, four, five, two, four, five, then I would have to deal some damage with, ooh, shall we risk it? Shall we risk it? Shall we risk it or shall we not? Shall we take it easy? Hmm. Plus one damage. So let's have a look what the chances are. So for example, if I rolled that, I would have dealt two damage and then make make myself... No. What I'm going to do, I'm going to equip the hand axe. Forget about uh, the great magic weapon for just a moment. <coughs> yeah. And for three stamina points. One, two, three. I will move into his spot because the hand axe has zero range, obviously. So, two. If I roll perfect, then I will kill him. But, yeah, what are the odds, eh? <laughs> Have a look. Boom! Ah, that was close. Yeah, he's down to one. One HP remaining. Okay, he defends one, two goes through. Well done, mate. Um, Harold, do you want to move, mate? Do you want to move this trap is over here? Maybe let's do it like this for one stamina point. Okay. So that's that. Let's see what he does now. He His final fifth card is Leaping Lens Strike. Oh yeah, we've seen that one before. So he leaps in place because uh, he's targeting the... Oh, five. Look at that. That's exactly what I meant. I didn't really want to get rid of that shield because that shield gives me a blue die to defend myself against uh, his five attack. He will then retreat twice. So he stomps. He can push me in either of these three. So I think I'll go and then he will retreat to away from the aggro. So he will go here or there. Yeah. So before we do that... He attacks me for five physical damage. I have one blue die to defend, defend myself against. Come on! Ah, one. So four damage goes through. Come on! One, two, three, four. Yeah. There's no conditions, no nothing. He just retreats to away from aggro. So one, two. Yeah. So that was his fifth activation. If I recall correctly, uh, the first one that he, we found in New Order was the Urn Toss. So three magical damage. <sighs> three magical damage. Yeah, so he retreated into that corner. Now it goes to uh, him again. We heal one stamina and we need to get in range. So we move one for three. Yeah. We attack with a spear, and I'll use this three stamina point to attack him. One, two, three. <clears throat> Do I want to move the, with the pyromancer? Uh, no. Uh, or 
maybe I do because I'll be no I, I just need to I need I need to kill him yeah there's no other way for him to survive where's my card so that's just one plus one so all I need is one on this die and he dies Roll of camera no you can see it it's one which he defends but this attack gave me plus one damage and he dies so his royal swordsman armor is mine cannot use it though need some souls to uh to upgrade my stats with but at least we managed to defeat him before we leave though and collect all the souls let's roll for the barrel and we get one extra soul one extra soul this comes from a new set I just need to make sure that we get something for the for the invader if I defeat him. Defeating an invader, if the party successfully kills the invader immediately at the invader's treasure and immediately add three soul tokens to the soul cache, even if other enemies still remain in the encounter. If the party is defeated, no, I was not defeated. So you, matey, are worth three souls. And I also get souls for defeating the Ashen Hollow. <clears throat> for defeating the Ashen Hollow. So we get additional four, don't we? For the Ashen Hollow. So that's my spoils of war. <laughs> yeah, because I get two souls each. Right. So we have quite a lot, actually. We have eight. Eight souls, so we can either spend it on upgrading our stuff or on resetting or doing any other things and, you know, uh, going through the equipment. I don't know what we're going to do yet. I need to think of camera because I might need these to uh, upgrade some of the equipment that I have purchased before that I couldn't afford to, um, to get uh, because my stats are so low. Um, I need to have a look at the options of camera. Right, so thanks a lot for watching. This was uh, quite an enjoyable encounter with the very first invader, Maldron the Assassin, whom we found in our in the Ashen Hollow, uh, the very second encounter during our, our um, latest playthrough. Right, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Hopefully I haven't made too many mistakes. It's been a, a long, long while since I played Dark Souls, especially now that I'm mixing new set new uh, core set rules with the old ones and with a lot of custom made content as i showed you before but i have also special events and things many many new items you know hundreds of different cards that i printed off camera or offline and and incorporated into into the game so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one shortly bye bye